Okay, this is part two uh, of a 1963 Johnson 40 horse uh, electromatic shift. Uh, at this point, I'm uh, getting it back together. I cleaned the carburetor. Uh, I actually took apart the uh, starter motor because it seemed a bit weak. I cleaned it. Uh, the Bendix, I took that apart thinking it might be just in the Bendix motor, not spinning properly and not engaging the flywheel strongly enough. So I was having some issues with that, so I'm hoping that will be back together soon, uh, or at least operating when I get this together. Um, right now I'm just putting on the uh, armature plate. Uh, the, the coils were good, I checked those out. Um, I, goes, I actually had uh, partial spark in one cylinder and, and some spark in the other, but uh, the wires were so old that uh, I had to replace them, or at least cut them back. I trimmed the wires back uh, and reinstalled them and I got good continuity. So the wires and the coils are back together. I just need to set the points uh, and get the flywheel back on and uh, that's what I'm going to do now. So basically I'm going to be checking the, uh, the, the, the points uh, the, at 20, 20 thousandths and trying to set them. And you, you probably won't be able to see that well, but I'm going to try and uh, move the camera when I need to. So stand by. That feels pretty good. That was the number two points. Yeah, those are actually set right. I don't have to make any adjustments to those. So maybe just clean them and I'll be all set. Now I don't know if you were able to see this from last time, but looking at these, this armature plate, See that. Okay, I wanted to give you a better shot of this uh, armature plate and the uh, coils and condensers and uh, points. And uh, wow, I, I was really impressed with this motor. When it first, when I first picked it up and brought it home, it was uh, kind of kind of filthy. I mean, we, I degreased the engine. I took everything off of it, degreased the engine, um, and uh, washed it down pretty thoroughly. Took the carburetor off, cleaned it. And it just cleaned up really nice. Uh, the paint on this is pristine. I don't think this power head's ever been overheated. Um, so I, I really think that uh, this is going to be a decent running motor. Uh, I'm really, really happy. I mean, 75 bucks on Craigslist, it's an amazing deal. So if I can uh, pair this boat up or this motor up with a good boat, even a, even an aluminum boat, I think uh, I think I'll have a good uh, running vehicle, running uh, motor here. So anyway, just so you can see, the, the, the bottom half is seems to be okay. I checked out the uh, uh, the gearing system on there, the, uh, the, the gear case, and um, haven't had it apart, but uh, I did shift it with uh, the battery. I connected it up to the 12-volt uh, battery of a car, and it did uh, it did respond. So it's, it's actually, uh, as it turns, it, when it's engaged with the, uh, the voltage from the, the, the battery, it, it'll it'll engage those magnets down inside the gear case. And they do work, so that's kind of a uh, expensive item down there, so I'm, I'm glad that, to see that that does work. And uh, and uh, this will once this is all cleaned up, and maybe I'll paint it and whatever, and then I'll, it'll be very, very nice when I'm done. So 
Uh, anyway, I just thought I'd give you a part two. So part three, I hope you'll see this thing running. So let's uh, stand by and stay tuned. So never know what will happen. Thanks for watching.